just like that, she never moved again. Well, that's two people fucking dead now. Shit. What? No. You're shitting me. Inconceivable. I'm really feeling it right now, the importance of tropes. I was wanting to avoid causing any unnecessary deaths, if at all possible. But I guess a sacrificial lamb really is necessary, man. I love that trope. But hey, you guys get it now, don't you? I mean business. If you resist, I'll make Swiss cheese at Oh god. Blow you up, bury you alive, melt you, etc. If you don't want to end up like that, you guys better adhere strictly to the school rules. I'm with you. Body was skewered by spears. A pool of blood was formed beneath it. Why is the blood pink? I don't get that. It was the first time I had seen the moment of a person's death. Anyone could tell just by looking at Hiroshima's a our friend just until a moment ago was dead, killed, terminated. And it all happened just like that. This is... death. It's nothing to be surprised about. She's just dead. All she is is dead. Dead, dead, dead. It's as ridiculous apparent as the inevitable destruction of mankind. It's as stunningly natural as the inevitable end of the world. That's terrifying. This isn't some RPG. Cram as many bird feathers down her throat as you want, she ain't coming back. Nope, this is reality. Why did you kill her? Weren't you going to imprison her? I changed my mind. You didn't premeditate her murder? Premeditate? How do you spell that? Premeditate? Oh god. I premeditated her murder, is that what you said? Hey, hey, I'm Monokuma. Ah, that's not terribly important. Anyways. I have something I need to give you guys before we start searching for the villain. This is a file with some data I gathered on the corpse, I call it... The Monokuma file! I mean, you guys are amateurs, there's only so much you can find out of from a corpse. So I went ahead and gathered info on the body and anything caused of... and anything caused of death he relayed for you. Huh? You're wondering how I know what cause of death is? I watched the whole thing start to finish in stunning high definite. oh yeah, he has the cameras. High definition clarity thanks to my security cameras. Yeah. Then you know who the culprit is, the one who killed Mazano. <laughs> you betcha. If I didn't, I couldn't make an impartial judgment at the class trial, now could I? <laughs> yes, your judgment should be impartial. I'm slightly relieved to hear that. Yeah. Alright then, best of luck with your investigation. You're gonna need all the luck you can get. Do what you gotta do. I'll be seeing you again very soon at the class trial. Alright, well, now we have a 1 in 12 chance at least. We have better odds, shit. And with that, Monokuma left, leaving us confused, bewildered, alone, with an Enoshima's horribly mangled body. Well, that's two girls I won't be getting laid with now. For some time, not one of us could even open our mouths to speak. Naturally, we were shocked by Mazno and Enoshima's irrational deaths, but that wasn't all. Someone in this room killed another human being. On top of that, if we don't find out who did it, everyone else will be executed. We looked at each other with mistrusting eyes. Could things get any worse? However, despite that disturbingly abnormal of our situation, she was not perturbed in the slightest. Yeah. Is this really the time to be depressed? Besides, with everyone so blindly mistrusting of one another, much like blind faith, the outcome can only be disaster. Huh? huh. <laughs> we need to work together. It's up to you who you want to believe and who you want to doubt. <laughs> Indeed, fretting over the deceased won't benefit anyone. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I've warned you numerous times already, those who cannot adapt will simply die. Inability to adapt, disobedience, those things lead to death, true? <laughs> you reap what you sow. <laughs> You're terrible, even in this situation. That's way out of line. <laughs> we need to focus on figuring out who the killer is, first of all. If we don't, then all of us will be executed. <laughs> Precisely, it's time to begin the hunt. Either way, we cannot escape it. We have no other choice. We got no choice. This is really our only choice. Execution, my ass! If you ain't fucking killing me! <laughs> Shit, let's get going. We have no other choice. Every one of us was whispering that to ourselves. As if trying to instill in us some confidence and drive. Yes, we have no other choice. Even if we don't want to, we have no other choice. Our one chance at holding on to our lives, we have no other- Can you stop saying we have no other choice, damn it, God. Beyond that, I need to know. Why was Mazano killed? Why did Mazano have to die? 
I'm afraid of the answer, but I have to know. If I don't, I'll never be able to accept Mazano's death. And that's why I have no choice. God damn it, Maz fucking Nagy. I'm gonna murder you myself. Anyways, so I think I'm about to end this episode off here, guys. Probably actually know what fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. I, I feel like keep going, I'm gonna keep going. Let's talk to this bitch. Hey. No. Before we begin investigating Maz's death, we should do about preserving the crime scene. Preserving the crime scene? <laughs> You mean watchmen to ensure no one tampers with it? If the culprit tampers with the evidence, we're at a stalemate, true? Alright then, I'll be on watch. How do we know you didn't do it? I'm no good at figuring out stuff anyway. Aw. I'll leave it all to you to figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Then Odwa's on lookout at the crime scene? <laughs> no, we can't just let him watch by himself. Uh -huh. Oh, why not? Uh, money. Isn't it obvious? What if you're the culprit? By volunteering to guard duty, you can destroy all the evidence you want. No. What? Screw you! No, no. Then I shall be on guard as well. That eliminates the issue. Oh, God. <laughs> Two-player co-op with Master Mondo, Awada, and Sakura Ugami. Fierce watchmen indeed. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they are terrifying. The two of us who cannot join in the investigation, we rest our lives in your hands. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, then I guess him and... Her, well, why? It's fucking terrifying. Alright, what about you, smarty pants? <laughs> Hurry up and begin your investigation. Wow. If we choose the correct culprit, only the culprit will be executed, but if we're wrong, all of us will be killed. These are school rules. What is this madness? Okay, uh, let's talk to her then. God damn it. She's a ghost. Come on, creepy girl, I ain't got all day. Any day now. Any day. What's this? I just noticed something. What? Noticed something? What is it? I was looking over the Monokuma file. I noticed something very simple, yet very peculiar. Huh? What is it? Please have a look for yourselves. The place where Sayaka Mazuno died. It's Makato Naegi's better. Oh! Uh. She's right. Oh no. We switched bedrooms. She died in my bedroom. Are they gonna think I did it? Then could it be? Everyone's eyes pointed at me all at once. Oh god, hold it. I didn't do it. Mazuno and I traded rooms for one night, that's all. We did because she was terrified. That has lie written all over it. Tell the truth. The look in their eyes changed dramatically. Their gazes were filled with doubt and fear. In other words, they suspected- Oh, fuck me! I would get suspected over this bullshit. Wow. Does everybody suspect me? Hey, little girl in the back, do you suspect me? <laughs> She's right here. She- Ooh. Okay, I don't know what to do. Let's just back out of here. Wait. Huh. Before we begin our investigation, is there a little more we should talk about? Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to talk to these people anymore. <laughs> they fucking suspect me. Fuck off, everybody. You can all just go kill yourselves. I hope you choose me, then we all die together. Fuck off. <laughs> Moving on. God damn it, Yamada. Fucking talk to me, you little bitch. Or you big bitch, actually. Yamada? Karen status. Rebooting consciousness. Please wait. Wow. Okay, what about you, dude? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? What? What is this, dude? Wow. Okay, uh, how about you? Huh? Is this real? <laughs> that goddamn bear. I guess you look at the body. I gently brought my hand to Inoshima's dead body. Like they do on TV and the movies, I checked her pulse and her neck and wrist. She's really dead. No shit, Sherlock. She got stabbed by five spears. There was no other way to say it. She was completely and utterly dead. <laughs> Confirming it wasn't necessary. Sustaining injuries like that and losing that much blood? It'd be more surprising if someone could survive that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait a sec. Wait, hold on. She's dead? Then... This is the real thing. It's not kind of an event, but really, really, dude. Oh, God. No, save me. Get me out of here. And now this guy's freaking out. Someone... Took you long enough. <laughs> Duh. Are you all done talking? Now let's begin our investigation. From here we split up. Who killed 
Sayaka Mazno. To reach the answer to that question, you must gather evidence and follow it to its logical conclusion. <clears throat> if you make the wrong deduction, well, I don't suppose I need to tell you what happens then, do I? <clears throat> of course not, we all die. Game over, man, game over. Me thinks I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Good luck. Are you not helping us? Fuck off. Hastily departed the gymnasium, leaving only those words behind. I'll be off as well. Continuing after Kirigiri, Tagami also disappeared from our sight. Damn, that's right. We're on guard duty. Gotta hurry down to the crime scene. Yes, indeed. I'm warning you assholes right now. If one of you is the killer and you try to tamper with the evidence... If I find you first, I'll beat you to a fucking pulp before your execution. I'll pulverize you, liquidize you, grind you to fucking dust, oh man. With his words still hanging in the air, Awada and Ugami swiftly exited the room. But investigating a murder, we're not detectives or policemen. What are we supposed to do? We don't need to do anything, it's perfectly obvious. Oh, fuck you. You don't mean... I'm talking about you. Oh, fuck off, Fugawa. Hope you die. Like I said, I didn't do it. Oh god, stay back. Do you intend to kill me too? I kinda want to. This bitch is being a bitch. And maybe we should do whatever we can. It's not like we're totally certain Naegi did it. Yeah, thank you. Touche, let us investigate our, to our heart's content. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't investigate anything. Why is that? I'm not good with blood. Oh, wow, what a pussy. Just seeing blood, I feel like I'm going to pass out. What a bitch. What a B-I-T-C-H. Speak anytime you feel like, crazy girl. I hope you die next. Just saying. Just saying. Ah, uh, whatever. No one's expecting nothing from you anyway. Alright, then I'm off. Hold on a second. Before you go, hear me out. My voice fell on deaf ears as everyone left the gymnasium one by one. Their suspicious gaze is still pointed in my direction. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? Why did things turn out like this? There's no way I could kill her. Why the hell would I kill Mazano? I've got to do something. At this rate, everyone will be fucking dead because I'm not the killer. Or am I the killer? Maybe I am the killer. Who knows? Moving on. I already read all that. Fuck off, Monokuma. It's going to end up like that. I won't let things go Monokuma's way. I'll do everything in my power to find the culprit. The culprit who killed Mazano. Okay. 